Hi, good morning, good morning everybody. Everyone. How's it going today? Welcome to oh. the Tricky Bricks Building Chat. I'm Richard, and that's Flynn. Because <laughs> I'm sure they don't In case know you that. Didn't know. I'm so happy to see everyone already saying hello to one uh, one another in the chat. Mm, marble mouth already. That always makes me happy. Let's go. Actually, let's see who is here today. Who okay. is stopping by and uh, commenting in? Let's see. Oh, I did it again. The wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> this thing with the three dots. Remember? Everyone I don't. Don't remember clearly i don't remember you all remember i'm sure <laughs> <laughs> who's here look it's brick and easter oh. uh chris sir separator chalice oh wow he's got an upgrade Deneen mcdermott <laughs> debo bricks is here fabu fan mke hooded one insane lego fan jmw music hi even um, if only for a moment john latrell uh johnny cat Corey kinnick Minifig Chick, of course, and Moto with Molly Williams, like, right, right there. Right there in the alphabet. <laughs> and, um, let's see, Orange Bricks is here, Robert Zaccardi. Yep. Uh, somebody else just, like, they dropped in, in, in here. In the it's hard to tell. Uh, Shane, Shane LeVan, LeVan is here. Course, Hi, Shane. Uh, Steve Parmley. Hi, Steve. Uh, Stud Steve, Sidious. you're so cool. You did such the, a nice thing. The Brick, uh, the Brick Orphanage. The Mowgli is here. WGJL Productions. Hi, uh, and thank you Wilfred. for the reminder this morning. Wilfred, bonsoir. Wilfred, and, I friend requested you on Facebook. Oh, there we go. And Kim Zarakino. Hi, Hi Kim. How's it going? Well, welcome to everyone. It's like we weren't even here yesterday I know it's weird because right. you know and also too I gotta tell you so when we first started doing the show I would be I would try to be like a half an hour like a half an hour of prep that's like all I need and then I started discovering it like no it's actually been an hour so now hour. it's gotten to like an hour and then now it's even extended beyond that like an hour and 15 an hour and a half but I gotta tell you no matter how long I give myself, we are yep. still running around like crazy people. <laughs> the work. Like two minutes before we're supposed to be you on You know how it is. The work expands to fill the time allotted, right? Because there's always these last minute things like a dash for bowls. Thanks again to yep. Dershel for our bowls. Oh, Zise is here. Hi, oh, Zise. Hi, Zise. So good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. That's awesome. What a great morning. And uh, Jeremy is here. Zach Martinez. Wow, this is awesome. I know. Lots of um, um, orange bricks. Did we say orange bricks yeah. before yes run run that's what we do in the morning and then we get logan all set so hey let's talk disney pins for a moment i am oh. i'm feeling nostalgic so i'm going all the way back and i did wear this once before in the you know about six years ago when we started the stream <laughs> something like, like that back in the spring um this is from 1983 and this is my mickey mouse oh it oh, almost so focused close. it's so, so close. close do it there it is. Kind of. There it is, yeah. He's pretty ratty, but I used to wear him when I worked at Disneyland in 1983. Hey, and Synthetic in high Mason. School. I was Welcome. in high school then. Um, so I, mine is actually, I think, really cool, and I managed to get this. We had been in the park, I think, maybe like five minutes. Where? We Disneyland went to the, or Disney, Disney World? Disneyland, and we went to the store to, I think we were actually in... Um, California Adventure. Oh, this would be and after we, Bricks LA. We walked into, yeah, this would have been after, after Bricks LA. We walked into, and I had bought some, like, oh, no, we had gotten those little starters. Oh, my God, this is the pins. longest sentence I have ever heard. Well, you know, there's lots of it's commas. It's good. It's, right. a, it's true. And people came up to me and said, oh, I really want that so-and-so pin. I can't remember what I traded for, but it wasn't that exciting, and it was a total starter pin. And they traded me their Oogie Boogie Bash First Fright 2019. That is so special cool. edition pin. All right. That's so cool. <laughs> wow, big full moon, all those bats. I know, it's a really good one. So I'm excited I like this. Although it's really heavy. <laughs> really? Well, you need maybe a, um, you know, a reinforced bodice or something. <laughs> I, I for don't. that. A t-shirt with a reinforced bodice. There, yes, you heard it that's... here first. <laughs> We have so much we're doing today, don't we? Yeah, so let's talk about um, let's talk about some Lego news. Now it's so funny. I realized that oh wow, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Sometimes um, ads, ridiculous ads, show up on the side of our news feed. Right. So I gotta from say, our friends, it, the brothers, Brett. it kind of sucks that they. Um, it, it kind of sucks that 
really press releases and a lot of news comes out on Tuesdays, and we don't actually have a show oh, on right. Tuesdays. No scoops. So there's like it's we, we're not going to scoop anything, and I know everybody here is pretty seasoned, and they get all their news, um, yeah. you know, on their own. Maybe it's not so much a news flash as a highlight, right? Yeah, we're just highlighting stories we think are cool. Yeah. So here, let me see. Oh no, I don't want to see that. Whoa. No, no, that's well, not we're going to see everywhere at all. on the web. Thanks, Google. Okay, so here we go. So today's Lego news. Um, I tell you, it's on its way. It is. Oh, it's because I got the get news back here. Yeah, the news. Man. The news team is flying in at this moment from the green room. They're putting down their coffee and their mimosas. <laughs> they are the news team mimosas. Here you go. Oh, what, what happened? happened? It went away. Oh, I don't know. Oh, because I hit the wrong thing. We'll I'm try so sorry, everybody. One, Here two, and, and there. three. Yeah. All right. So this is the big super news of sorry the there, week, not right? our not our ads. I'm sorry there. We are of course on uh, the Brothers Brick, and we are checking out their um, the their news. And the big news is this Nintendo buildable TV and. Uh, and an NES system. It's, if you get a chance to see the preview video for this, do it because it's astounding. Yeah, if you it's haven't, really cool. yeah, if you haven't seen, yeah, the little video that goes with it is absolutely incredible. I, I mean, was really, really impressed because up till now I've been like about the Mario stuff, but yeah. this like hits all of my buttons, right? Like it's got the, it's oh, got the the old time almost, TV. Like, Pun intentional. It was. I was just trying to get. I was trying to see if anybody caught it. Um, it hits all the all the right buttons for me, and I I'm I'm pretty excited about it. So will you scroll up just a little. Look on the side of the TV. There's a crank. So yes. it's animated, and Mario jumps up and down. Yeah. And doesn't this does this make sound or it doesn't make sound? It makes sound if you attach the Mario from the from the Mario, um, uh, the new sets that have the little electronic Mario with oh, the yeah, eyes Oh, yeah, he's got, like, light-up eyes and all? So you sit him on top of the TV, and then it plays a soundtrack, and it plays all of the sounds when you hit the certain... It's really, I gotta say, it's pretty genius. And this is one of the, I think, one of the most mechanically technical pieces I've seen. I would agree. I mean, you can take the cassette that looks like a cassette and put it in and close the lid and, and it all kind of works. And, and I guy, love that they had the guy blowing <laughs> in, the, in the cart before he put it in. the contacts. It was really funny. So I'm also really interested in that little uh, Mario with the light-up eyes, you know, the smart Mario. I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. We'll look into it. Smario. But I saw... Smario. Smartio. Better than Smarmio. Smartio. <laughs> no. Um, so, like we were saying, um, I saw a preview um, from Yoshihiro Isagawa of that, and he takes the little thing through all of its paces, and it's cute, and I, I want to see how we can sort of hack it's, it and make mocks out of it. Yeah, it's, um, it's, this is going to be pretty cool. And I also, what I'm, what I'm, Super excited about this as well. Is, that, well, first of all, that antenna piece is super cool on the TV. But the other thing is, I can't wait to see the models people make, like the mocks people make from this. Like once you know, something else in the TV. Yeah, yeah. like once you know yeah. how this section works, um, it's all tiles, out facing tiles, right? So you're basically just making mosaics. So I am sure that we are going to see an amazing amount of. Uh, mocks based on this system. Well, you know what we should do, obviously. What's that? Would be a scene from I Love Lucy where Fred comes in and does something. <laughs> does I don't think we'll be able to pull that off. No, but, but I could, think we that, could do um, black and white TV, though, couldn't we? But I think uh, there's all kinds of like old school video games that you could do. Um, you know, you would have to. It would obviously they'd have to be all platformers where they platformer. where they jump, but you know. Yep. Um, so a couple of you don't want Fred Mertz taking the place of Mario there. I just think that that might be a little more difficult. That's all I'm saying. So uh, real quick, I wanted to remind uh -oh, everybody yes. we are having a subscription drive, and for some reason, this little bar on the bottom is supposed to be moving as we get new people, and we actually oh, have yeah. more than what's what's there. Which I is mean, cool. thanks for the subscriptions, everyone who subscribed. It's it. 
helps us. Alyssa says I'm obsessed with Richard's <laughs> ideas. I am too. Like I want Whoa, to really? I want to make that and if we can figure out how to do it we can. I tiny, just that would take a lot of thing of tiny, tiny Fred Mertz. Fred Mertz. <laughs> well, I think what would make it through to the end is the fact of a black and white grayscale TV. Yes, that would be really fun. Well, it would also be fun. To, oh never mind. I don't want to give away okay. all of our ideas. Well, maybe I'm we'll just, just same. build it. Yeah, maybe we'll just build it, but yeah, and so it's got, uh, I'm trying to remember, and of course, it's from the adult line. It's got that right, same, so it's got that, like, like bring around the bottom. Uh, anyway, amazing, and I can't wait for that. And now, okay, you know what? You sold me. What? I think we have to do a um, I, I, I Love, love Lucy, Lucy episode um, on <laughs> our TV. <laughs> Maybe so, we could use Wilma's hair. Oh, no, that's the thing is how do you get do, grayscale wigs? That's tough. Well, it might have to be. I mean, never mind. It might have to be in color. Who knows? What? We'll see what we can do. Okay, we'll see. We'll do the. Okay. Yes. So moving what on. I wanted to say, we, well, moving back because we kind of got off again. We We're are having a subscription place. drive. We're trying to get to 2,000 followers. And if we get to 2,000 followers, we, or I should say when we hit 2,000 when followers, we, hit 2, followers we, we are going to be giving away this Monkey Kid, Monkey King Warrior Mech to a random subscriber. Yep. Um, so... Let's get up to uh, 2,000 subscribers, and we'll do that. I think that'll be that'll really be fun. fun. It was, if you were with us when we built it, it's a super fun model. Yeah. We get to build it again because it had a bit of an accident and came apart. And so I we get to haven't put it back so together, y'all. To they saw it. it I showed time. them. Oh, really? I showed oh, them. They've no. seen the carnage, but yeah, well. But um, we're building today, too, right? And we're going to do a tandem build. I'm going to build one part. I'm going to do book three. Yes. Oh, yeah. We're going to split up with it. So it turns out the sides of the boat are pretty much the same. So we're going to um, work on the separate, and they're in separate books. So it's kind of perfect. We're going to do that. What is that? Um, Orange Brick says we need Pac-Man with that. Pac-Man yes. would be fun. Oh, and we need to talk about this week's challenge. Oh, yeah. So What's this week's this challenge? This week's fun? build challenge, it is um, our 10-year anniversary on on Friday, yep. and we're going to spend some of it with you. So we uh, decided to do, with some encouragement from people in the chat, a theme of 10. Something based on the number 10. Any or 10 as a want. word. Like Some people are coming up with... Um, Whatever like it means parts. to you. In, Whatever in, 10 means to you. However you want. And there's it's, no size limit. It's wide open. Yeah, there's no size limit, and you can send your... Uh, well, there's two ways to send your information. We have a new Google form that we're working with that you can put in and upload your image, but you do have to have a Google account, just FYI. Um, and thanks to a reminder from someone, um, I put the form, a link to the form up today in the community tab. Oh, so great. it's up there, and you can link to it there. I put it in twice, actually. So those go-getters who already have stuff built. Exactly, exactly. And then uh, you can email them to me at flynn at trickybridge.com, and you have until 5 p.m. Pacific time on Thursday to send in. And I think we're allowing up to three photos now, right? Isn't that yeah, what we decided? Yeah, so. so there's not a requirement of three photos photos mm -hmm. and you don't have to build three models yes no but if you want to take up to three okay. photos of your one model about 10 yeah so just uh do that you can oh and also it is due thursday i said that already 5 p.m sorry <laughs> i forget where what? i'm at in the script <laughs> hey did they do on sesame street did they do songs for all the numbers was it actually like 10 10 10 how many is 10 yeah i think they Let's did a lot of a them song about 10. my favorite was the pinball game one that was pretty the 12 good. one no sung by the pointer sisters <laughs> hey and guess what i just talked about a thing and I want to tell you about it. So one of our... Um, I want to know what this is. What I is know. it? So one of our um, awesome stream uh, chatters and person who's now a friend, and I don't know if they want me to say who they are, so I'm going to... It's a secret. I'm going to like hold off on now. If they want to reveal themselves, they may. Has been helping me work on a Tree Bricks website. Oh, where, yeah. I mean, we had something like before, but this is now all we like themed and stuff. a place to go. And now we've got a place to go. And I've been I've been talking about it for a while. Now, it's still under construction. You're welcome to go look at it, trickybricks.com. There's still a lot to do, but it's live. You can go there. Put There's on a gallery of our work and stuff like that. But uh, I'm going to start doing blog posts about each of our... Um, 
episodes, and I'm going to try to include in the post links to stuff that we talked about. So I'm going to write this down. We're going to talk about the how many is 10 and the um, the 12 pinball. And what I'm hoping to do is I'll be yeah. able to like link to the videos for those things on YouTube, or if we talked about, I don't know, the Mighty Men and Monster Maker, I could put a link to some like thing about... Yeah, <laughs> you could you could call, you could call that section further down the rabbit hole. Yeah, exactly. And I, and again, it is it's so not to get it's so not together. No, but you know how he is, right? Like a little obsessive and very creative. So oh, okay. it's coming together very quickly. So I'm saying it's okay to say it's Shane Levan. Shane's been helping Hooray, me out Shane. with the website. Thank you so much, Shane. Thanks, Shane. Um, <clears throat> for your amazing help on that. Well, Flynn had gotten a lot of progress done on it, but, you know, you can hit roadblocks. And speaking of things to remember that we'll come back to later. Oh, yeah. You know, Ms. Things. new feature. Ms. Things mood ring. Yep. Well, also a new feature, which I haven't made an animation for yet. These two are associated. (laughs) So Ms. Thing does have a mood ring today, and she is, where is it? There. She is in a mood. Right there, she's in a mood, and you know why? It's because she got a handwritten note, a handwritten note that her sister is coming, and they don't get along. Yeah, and what's her? She's, um, she's wacko, right? Wackadoo, right? Her sister. Her, yeah, well, she's she's pretty crazy, and her her sister. Her sister I has can't a name. Say it with a straight okay, face. Okay, we can say it together. I can't okay. say it with straight face. Ms. Thing's Ms. sister's Ms. name Ms. is Angela. Angela. So, Angela is supposedly going to be coming way. for some kind of visit. She is. She's on the way. Oh, can you imagine, Debo Bricks? So, oh, my goodness. So, Ms. Thing is going to, um, she's going to pout. But did, you, but did you show the... the I did. The, oh, yes. And so, what's it from? Yeah. Um, oh, this is from Unikitty, right? Um, yes, that is from Unikitty. That is, like, the villain uh, of the in the Unikitty. Of course. Um, Mr. Pouty Pants. I'm sorry. <laughs> Professor Pouty Pants. <laughs> so, um, yes, this will be like so, um, Samantha's cousin Serena, yeah, or, or Jeannie's uh, cousin, Jeannie's cousin Jeannie Two, or um, Patty and Kathy. Patty and Kathy, or what's the? Um, I'm sorry, um, Evil Kirk and Morticia Spock. Adams' um, sister Ophelia. Oh, Ophelia had like <laughs> white blonde hair and I think flowers in her hair, didn't she? She was like, the, they're always. The uh, hey, Bicky's Club, I've I've tuned in just for these jokes. <laughs> well, we got them coming today. Through Dershel, <laughs> Angela Wittershins, because she always goes. Let's see. Wait, Miss Thing is right-handed. And so that means Angela is sinister. She's from the left. She's, oh my goodness! Left-handed. No, left hand. That's your left-handed. That sinister. You're left-handed. I am left-handed. Well, back in the day, it was considered yeah, sinister. We're in, our, okay. we're in our right minds. So this is the new. This is one of the new because, as you know, we've kind of run out of stickers. <laughs> oh my goodness! We are just barreling along. Um, Deep breath. Here we anyway, go with a new feature. We are doing now um, printed tile of the day. Yep. Um, so this is my, this is my pick and it's actually two tiles because they go together. Yep. And it is this amazing here do we want dragon scale up? printed tile. Can we hold this up? Is it going to work? Yeah. Well, I'm glad Alyssa said it happens to everybody, but anyway, Yeah, you, you know what? Oh, there. Is. Beautiful dragon scale Mon- printed tile. Monetary and focus. It's on um it's on a curved piece, and there is a right and a left side that go together. Yeah. And these are from the um, these are from the, the Chinese New, New Year Dragon Dance, yep. um, and that, that was like one of the first ones that was available here. So detailed. Really amazing. And what do we have? Like two hundred of them or something? We have a bunch. I have a bunch. We I've been bunch waiting to do something with them, and I think I think yeah, I think I need to do that soon. Look at that. Some, that some new feature. We're going to have a guest. Who knows what's going to happen with Angela? Who knows? Um, and a new feature. So I'm going to dump out some bricks here. We're going to be... Oh, we're going to get started here. Okay. I don't know. I'll just dump out some bricks. Um, table space is going to be at a premium because we're both building big things. And there was somebody I wanted to say hi to uh, that I saw. Oh, uh, Drew Dershel is here. Hi, Drew. How's it going? 
Oh, um, yeah, it was Drew who talked about Wittershins. Yes. yes, and goodness, let's see, what else? Um, I'm looking here. Oh, Legos for Life, hello, welcome, and ahoy to you, too. That's actually one of my favorite greetings, you know. Ahoy. Is ahoy. Or, to be more specific even, I love um, hoy hoy, which was, um, who was it? Was that, who used to answer the phone like that? It was somebody... Famous. I don't know. Oh, this bag isn't I mean, as big as I thought it was. No, it's not, which is probably a good thing because anyway. So well, we now, now are finally see, gonna get you need started. To take notes. We'll find out who Hoy Hoy is. We're just oh, not yes. gonna have red so, herrings. See, this is the thing on our show. If there is anybody who would be willing to help out, because actually this would be super helpful. If there's anybody who would be willing to help out and be sort of like the tricky lug secretary <laughs> and write down the weird stuff we talk about so we can post it on the blog it would be awesome because I, I know I'll yeah, forget we'll stuff do, we would do I know all I'll the research stuff. right we'll do the research we'll do the, the research and all but that if you stuff. can just if somebody would be willing to just write down the stupid stuff we talk about <laughs> People so like what was that last one? I've already forgotten. Hoy hoy. Oh hoy hoy, right, okay. See, and besides it'll be boring for you if I'm just writing stuff down all the time. Yeah, now my brain is going on stuff you can put in a TV. <laughs> Oh, that's it. Yes. Thank you, Alyssa. That's what I was looking for. What is it that? was Alexander Graham Bell, and that's how he wanted people to answer the phone. <laughs> Ahoy, hoy. I love it. It's just so <laughs> antiquated and weird, and I love it. And I'm trying. We, we have such. So, do you know who is a, who is a famous, I guess, person, character okay. who answers the phone? Ahoy, hoy. A famous we'll pop culture that character. Out. I know who it is. I'm Look asking at, you. Look at these. We have a bunch of these in that awesome color. Is that? That's not medium azure. That's, it's, it's, no, it's, it's like it's one of the forty-seven thousand. It's dark, thousand light, blues. medium blue azure. <laughs> Aqua turquoise. I don't know. Modified. <laughs> Modified. I don't know. I can't keep track of all the blues. I'm going to have to get... Who was it? Who was it who made that great graphic of all the Lego colors and put it on a t-shirt? We know this person. Oh, Nathan. Nathan, Nathan who did the um, Lego Logan for us. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, um, yes, uh, um, ahoy hoy is a thing. Anyway, but you didn't tell me who is the who is the famous pop culture character who says ahoy hoy when they answer the phone. Does anybody know? I have no in the idea. Chat? I, I'm gonna, and it, I know that oh. they. I know that they. Uh -oh. Yes, Alyssa. Uh -oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, we already talked about Mr. Burns. Check. Okay. Oh, we are behind. It's because I was asking him, so I wasn't actually looking. And I'm for always the, behind. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, see, you know that's and see that's why On pop culture it, references. That's why it's hard for um, people to think. Um, yeah, they did. I'm so behind, Alyssa. Ooh. And also, too, you know, we there's like a weird lag between the chat and us. So really? <laughs> I know. Chips ahoy! Between our ears or between <laughs> over the internet. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, yeah, if you are putting pieces together, maybe we should go to down cam. Yeah, and I don't want to put work on anybody, but seriously, if you would be interested in being somebody that wouldn't mind writing that stuff down when you're here, just email us at <laughs> trickybricks.com because I'd love to. I think that would be fun. Alyssa and, is right that Tricky what? Bug Fam is pop culture savvy. Yes, it is. Yep. It's true. That is very, very true. What smelty nougat, slight reddish blue, modified sloped raised staggered <laughs> view bend, one by three by two by four by five by seven brick, modified? <laughs> the Mowgli. That's in there. Oh my That's goodness. That's probably just the Lego name. I bet the Bricklink name is longer. Yeah, see, I know you could use it. I, we could definitely use the caption track as a transcript, but. And what? not Is to that say that I don't love doing the stream, but first of all, I couldn't stand to watch and listen to myself. I mean, I know I could turn the thing down, but... And it would also mean <laughs> I would have to watch the whole episode and relive all of it. Will you go to the... But, oh, um, my goodness. Yes, but you're right. Look. And that's what I will do. Relive all of it. I look back sometimes, I'm like, whoa, we looked really dumb. 
when when I didn't know the difference between a friction pin and a non-friction pin. Well, I, I knew the difference. See, that's my day of infamy. I try to get stuff right, and someone was like, no, the blue ones have friction. <laughs> Tricky minutes. That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, Deppy Shep Bricks, welcome. We're doing good. So I know I haven't even said the name of it. So we're putting together the Monkey Kid, Monkey Kid's Team Secret HQ set that we got as a thank you from Lego for doing our uh, our UFO photographs for Lego Life. What so are we, on? we are... Um, we're very excited about. Uh, we're real excited about this. It's a it's a really fun six. model. Um, yeah. So you're building. Look at that. See, in my book, Monkey Kid is all the way at the left, and he has all this way to go. So I believe you're building the left side, which you would say is the sinister would that side. Be, uh, no, I always. <laughs> I should have this right. Yes, yeah, sinister side. Um, it's in the dictionary. Um, something to do with left. It goes back to ancient Greek. Horrible things happen. Um, and so I don't recall right now. Are we talking port or starboard? I should know this because I'm I a kayaker. But I think port is left and starboard is right. Any boat people out there? I know. Well, now I'm I would not have to be... look it up. Port says Debo Brick. See, I knew Yay, someone would I know. know. Right? Because I knew port someone would know. And starboard. <laughs> Okay, let's see. We are, I guess we gotta make sure we're doing this on camera, right? Yeah, now are we, at a certain point we should zoom in too, because our two things are kind of tiny together. Well, I know, but I, if, actually, if it's we pull in closer, you can't see both of us, right. which is um, not ideal. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. Not ideal. There we go. Any Brit British pop culture that, uh, I have that covered, and I can explain to your guys across the pond. Actually, we aren't. We know some. We know some, like the stuff that we've been allowed to see. Well, <laughs> like we the know stuff that makes it over here. We know television, right? We know. We yeah. know ridiculous. Like, I'm a big fan of British ago, comedies. Going way back to when I was in high school, I would watch Benny Hill. And oh um, <laughs> right, and we would watch "Are You Being Served?" Are you being served and endlessly with Mrs. Slocum with her ever-changing ever wigs? Yes, that and the um, the young ones was a huge favorite of mine yeah, when I was that younger. Was really like, good. I was super into that show. So. See, now we've already covered like seven things, and I haven't <laughs> written any of rapid, them down. Rapid fire here. <laughs> Siri, can you help us out? It's going to take just as long for me to actually like gather all this information as it does to do anything else. Well, here, so I, will, I will do this, Flynn. <laughs> I will keep a notepad here, and I will jot down notes. Okay. I can do that. If you're hitting all the buttons, right? Do you know what we do? Do you remember everything that we just talked about? <laughs> no, we're going to have to start, you know, as soon as I get a pad, basically. <laughs> oh, this is my great. Goodness. I like the building side by side thing. Yeah, this especially is fun. since I've commandeered the um, the recipe holder. Hey, I know you got the you got the good book holder. I'm missing That's all right, it. Though. You're allowed. And I just want you all to know that I let Richard put together the side of the boat that didn't have the red container on it because he doesn't like red. Well, okay. Let me put it this way. <laughs> As a lighting designer, I use red very carefully. I like it at the right time. But I'm not a big red fan. I never, ever, 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 ever wear red, except maybe in a, you know, in a Mickey pin. I know. I don't know. Right. Weird, right? So I try to, I try to accommodate the red. Like I always play the red. Yeah, whenever we play when board games. Whenever we play a board game, I always play the red character. Well, I'm okay. Yeah, <laughs> yellow, blue, green. It does. They're all good. Medium azure. Oh, so we're about. To, okay, so we're about to put together some pretty complicated. Um, what, are you a Technic game? stuff, right? We've got these. We've got these. Uh, so Technic. What do you call these again? Trip chassis? I, I call them a chassis piece. I don't know. But they I are kind them. of like a gearbox, too, or they can right? be used as a gearbox. Yeah, I, I use them. I just love them because there's no connections. They can't ever come apart. Well, I mean, unless you're someone who... So look at that. Yep. That's pretty cool. 
Let me say a warm, heartfelt goodbye to Grant Imahara from, oh, from Mythbusters. That was so sad what to read about that. What an amazing, wonderful, talented, inspiring yeah. roboticist and and um, just all around ge- genuinely good guy. The maker community, you know, has another star to look at in the sky. I know oh, they've lost. That's man, what a huge loss. He is awesome. I love Mythbusters and have been so inspired. Inspired by them, and um, and Av- Adam Savage, you know um, what is it? Uh, uh, Carrie Byron, yeah. all of them. Well, I'm sure they are definitely. Now, Tori Belici, I knew I was missing one. <laughs> I know. Actually, I meant to um, to ask Amy about that because I'm. I'm pretty sure oh, yeah. she's a- had some... Amy from Lego Masters yeah. is a major maker, right? And, well, she knows a lot of those people, so... Yeah, um, she's built Lego with Adam Savage. Uh, I know, I'm so jealous, I gotta say. Did I do this? What, it, am I just... Oh, I am went I all the way over here. Correctly? It looks like it. All right, here we go. Here, I'm kind of jumping around on the steps, but I, I think I got it right. Out. I know, it's Don't get overzealous. Don't get overzealous. We know. <laughs> I did. Look, we know what happens. Um, oh, they used to film in Alameda. That's right. That's right. Yeah, they had a big part of the... Didn't they have a part of the former naval base that they would run their robots around on and smash cars and blow things up? Right, right, right. That's right. Oh, my goodness. All right. That show... I. Love, it's so sciencey and fun. That's it. Just like you, honey. Sciencey and Science-y fun. And I hope fun. so. I hope so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> That's my personal opinion. <laughs> what did I do this? I did it right. Look at that. All right. These blue I giant really, plates are great. I have to say, I'm already really enjoying this. Like, I don't love Technic models, but there's something that I love about. And I don't say I, I don't dislike Technic. Well, you're it's just, just not one of my. It favorite doesn't things. resonate with you, right? Right. Exactly. Exactly. Um, let's see. Well, even if you but don't love this. Technic, you gotta love the cool things you can do with it, right? You can build sturdier things. Oh, absolutely. No of, question. I mean, you're also, for someone who doesn't, you know, focus on Technic, you're pretty experienced. You keep me on the, you know, you keep me more precise, right? <laughs> you, because I'll make them, I, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, so stop me if I have, but um, I'll make a sketch in Technic and then build around it and build around it and eventually Flynn looks at it and goes, that's pretty sketchy there, you know, and says, it's actually 17, not 18 studs. No, actually, I just do like the, like the, like that one. <laughs> what? Like the lady from Lego Masters. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> Just the, the tiniest, like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> as as the machine is trying to tear itself apart and jumping gears, yeah. and Flynn is like, mm, mm, mm. maybe you want to go and do you want to go count that, Richard? Maybe do you want to count some studs, maybe. And then we got this great piece of advice from our lug from Bruce Chamberlain. Um, uh, um, I was talking so about then? how much time I spent, you know, counting studs and counting oh studs goodness. and using my level and, or no, not using my level, counting studs and counting studs. And he picked up a tape measure in one hand and a level in the other and handed them to me. <laughs> right? You don't need to always count every stud. Interesting. You can, you know, you can tell as long as your table is level, we could tell if the top of Snake Queen was level. Well, let's see that. And that's Which the it thing. rarely was. And that's the thing, right? Like, it's, um... There is, like, a certain level of tolerance and a certain level of, you know, uh, I don't know, slightly being off that, um... Not very much. Not very much, but being, like, a plate off sometimes yeah. is not, like, the worst thing that could happen, although it kind of sucks. Until you introduce Technic 37 yes. courses of bricks later, and it's yeah. all a plate off. Yeah, it's really weird, and then you don't find that you have to kind of adjust, and... Yeah, and, <gasps> and we all know how much I love taking stuff apart. Well, I gotta say, you but when that? you're... Like, you're building, and you have to take stuff way apart? Well, I'm just... I don't know. When you're building something that big and at that scale yeah. in a 
a situation where you're just kind of making it up as you go along, like we did. <laughs> um, it's yeah. hard to keep track of stuff like oh. that. Like oh, that's oh, not man, I missed a thing. that's not an easy thing. I gotta say. Uh, did I miss one way back here? I think I need a brick there. A brick? It seems like. Doesn't there need to be on this? Yes. And I think you have another. I think there's another slope that goes here as well. I think. Yeah, yes, there is. There's that, two that go together. Up. Skipped a step. You know uh, why? Because we were see what happened. Happened. I wasn't focusing. Well, I am enjoying this. And what a great way to spend our. Um, anniversary week then we get to build a model together we both get to build on yes is always nice we were we were um talking yesterday to our very good friends uh, uh two of our very good friends um and we're gonna um celebrate halloween together doing a group costume <laughs> i hope that we get to do this that's in our person. plan we're gonna do we're gonna try and do it in person maybe we'll have an outside celebration or and something. i gotta say it was their idea yep all right. But I love it. Bye, Chris. See ya. Um, okay, so, yeah, this is great. Was and it was their Chris idea. Was that Chris Name's Chalice? Yes, he's got to take off because um, he's got some stuff to do, and he's going to uh, talk to his son, I think. Um, oh, cool. So let's see. Yeah. He's, he's gonna so group son. costume. So group costume. Should we, do we want to give that away? Why not? We wanna, so we may are, not do it. So don't hold us to it. They want. They want to do um, uh, what we do in the shadows, um, as a group costume, like the TV show, and it's. I'm, and who would I'm be one hundred percent behind it? Well, I mean, we. They would. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, let's not give that away. Okay, okay. You can, you can decide you can, you what can you guess. think. If any of you who are fans of the show can decide what you think might be the makeup <laughs> of that group. Or who, at least who you think who, we would who be. Who do you think Flynn and I would be Although in that I'm group. kind of terrified I to see what too. people's answers are. I am too. Although it couldn't be worse than who I've chosen. Right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. To give you a clue. Yes. Look at this. We're just building. Look at this. Building, building, building. So we're actually going to do... Flynn and this. I were talking this morning, as we often do, um, about... Uh, today we were talking about a poll. We care oh, poll, about right. what you care about on the show, especially since we're doing four out of seven days. Right. I think... Um, <sighs> Gosh. Now, we haven't written the poll here, so I don't want to put Flynn on the spot, but the kinds of things we're thinking about is what are the things that we do, and we do a bunch of different things on the show, that you really like and you would like us to focus on. And so we get a sense of if there's stuff that is less popular, then maybe we focus on different things. Yeah, less interesting. Like I mean, I, I feel like maybe these ones where we just build are less interesting than yeah, some other don't, things. We don't I know. just it's don't funny, know, right? It's for a people like. But the other <laughs> stuff is so chaotic and absurd. That <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I like I love those words. I'm sorry. I'm a fan of words and chaotic and absurd. I think maybe it'll be my theme for the day. <laughs> Go. Hey, MR John, how's it going? Welcome. Oh, oh wait, that. you're it seems ahead like of me maybe again. you're not having so great of a day. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh um, no. I I hope um, it improves. It turns I'm around. sorry. Yeah, let's. Ho I hope it turns around for sure. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, Let's well, I mean, to be honest, these are challenging times, right? Yeah. We all have ups and downs. Ms. Thing is having a hard day today. Well, as we, I don't know, it's just also like as we move move forward with the show, and it's going to obviously evolve and change, like it's already yeah. evolved and changed so much, and we're already introducing new things. So we just, I don't know, we, um, you know, we want to know what you want to see. So I'm going to yeah, try well, and put a poll up about it. The big question in my mind is how much do you all really dig watching us build? Like, we have we have guests and we have news and other ridiculous features and all that. And I think we'll always build, um, but it's a matter of do we take two of the four days and do that? or Yeah, because right now this is that's how... What we're wondering. This is right now what our schedule is going to be like. I mean, if we continue doing it the way we're doing it right now. So that would be Mondays would hopefully be either be a how-to or the first part of a two-part build like Wednesday, this like this Wednesdays um, 
Uh, Wednesdays would be a build day for sure, regardless of what happened on Monday. And then the um, uh, Sundays are going to stay the group chats. We like that. Yeah, we're going to... Well, we um, like all of it. I mean, yeah. we, we do it all because it's the show that we would want to see, right? Right. Um, and then Fridays are always our, you know, showing the slides from the um, oh. from the challenges, which usually takes, you know, the majority of the time. So... What's up with Wednesdays? Like, is is just watching us build boring, or do you want to, you'd rather see something else? Or anyway, I'll be asking you about that. Yeah, um, so that's what we're thinking about in the future. So I, it occurs to me a funny thing about watching Flynn build next to me and be a few steps ahead is you probably see every mistake I make. You're like, no, the yellow brick goes there. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I just did it. Oh, cool. Well, yeah, I just, I mean, I know it's good to have a variety, but, you know, there is, um, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of YouTube channels out there, and we appreciate you coming to hang out with yes. us. <laughs> oh, we cool. appreciate it. What am I doing here? I'm attaching. These are so useful. If oh, you I love those things. If you don't use these, this little Technic connection allows you to push it in afterwards, like, to attach two modules together. And that's the other thing, too. Like, I'm hoping we, like, when we do these builds of these, um, right. these sets, um, I'm hoping that, yeah, like, we're able to point out interesting pieces that we might use, like this thing. I don't know. What the heck is that? I don't know if this is new for this, um... Is it this set? Is it springy or rigid? It's a little, a little springy, like but you're I think not only because to? it's thin. And yeah, oh, this yeah. is going to be the the perimeter of the boat, oh. so that it gets the, or the front of the boat, so we get that rounded shape. Custom piece. Um, yeah, and oh, I'm yes. wondering if it's been used before or not. So yeah. it's just going to get really long now. I'm going to attach this. JMW Music, over. it's true. Brickmaster Amy says one of the best ways to improve is pay careful attention to the instructions to learn new techniques. I actually believe that. And I think that, um, you know, even if I'm buying a set, I know I've talked about this before, but even if I'm buying a set just for parts, I am still, um, I still put it together regardless. All right. So there's just because there's always something, yeah, exactly. There's we talked always about that some with Matthew Ashton, right? Yes, which, if you still have not seen the interview with Matthew Ashton, you should because it's delightful and he was just so fun. And you know, I gotta say, I feel so fortunate that we've been able to have um, Maddie and Jimmy. Oh yeah, and um, and Matthew, and of course Holly and Moto, and yep. um, you know Minifig Chick, and all of the guests who have agreed to come on, Jermaine and Mark and Boone. And I just feel so thankful that people are um, willing to come on and talk to uh, us. talk to us about what they're doing. And you, yeah, it's very fun. I'm very very grateful for that. So, thanks to all the people who come out, and, you know come on and help us out and we'll be having more interviews in the future i'm hoping now that we i'm hoping now that we've had matthew ashton that we might be able and justin ramston oh my goodness yes. how could i forget <laughs> justin oh my gosh and jake sadovich like oh i know so many so many amazing people and all of the blair archer blair archer all the people who are on um our mother's day stream like it's just we're so we're so so really lucky, lucky. Um, well, because, of course, I mean, this is, I guess this is a big duh, right? But we're huge Lego fans, so we're, it, it's hard for me when I'm talking with Matthew Ashton to not <laughs> be a bit of a, you know, fanboy on that. I would love to, and you know who I would love to, um, bye, Lisa, thanks. I would love to get um, Tiago Caterino on. He has oh, his own yeah. channel, which is amazing. Oh, you know what? I think it's that certain time of the day. Oh, look, it's exactly that time of day. Yes, and thank you, chat, for reminding yeah. us, because the instruction booklet is covering up our clock right I now. Know. <laughs> Everything's crazy. And I'm going to refill our coffee, too. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's do the other thing first, we and are. then coffee. We know, because we know what's important here. We know what's important. <laughs> mm. Oh, I love it. He's trying to be all, like, Stealth about the towel. <laughs> Don't let anyone it's know. It's a thing. Don't All right, everybody. Know we put a towel on a paper desktop around right here. <laughs> it's Logan's cookie boy. time. He's so excited. <laughs>
Okay, listen, here's your moment of happiness sounds. Oh, see? Very Can you cute. wag your tail and look at the camera? Good boy. <laughs> what a good dog. <laughs> what a good boy. Yes. Thank He's, you, Logan. Logan likes Lego. Actually. What was that? I don't know if Logan likes Lego or not because he would like us to spend all of that time with him. Oh my goodness. But we respect his hobbies and he respects ours. <laughs> right? His hobbies. Chewing on his rope. Except for some sleeping. Of those other blocks that he <laughs> chews on. Sleep. I, I highly approve of that. So, um. What am I doing? I'm yeah. putting in bumpers here. Oh, so, so that blue, to... so so minifig chicks says that curved blue technic part has been around since 2015 and in 17 sets Whoa. of cars. Oh, um, that's, that's why great. We don't, we don't oh, see now I have to write this down. Um, technic. Right, because we can show you all that stuff on screen, right? Yeah, well, I'd be able to post it on the on the interwebs on our on our website about the episode. We'll talk about that. All right. Um, right, and and plus we're finding as we're going through our house because you know in in four months or sixteen years or however long it's been, um, we're getting into every single drawer and cabinet and folder, right? So we're finding pictures and stuff of when we first started building Snake Queen, oh, man. or if we were at a convention so we're posting some of that um for people on patreon right yeah um, and, and we'll be showing some of it on the show as well yeah I, yeah this uh our friend um took some really amazing pictures at bricks by the bay the year that we premiered um whoa the, the year that we premiered at uh snake queen hey check this out this set comes with a bunch of these awesome dark green oh cool curved like triple Curves with du double wide triple curves. That's what I'm gonna be calling them. I can't even. I can't look at that color without thinking of the haunted mansion. Yeah, well, it's such a great color, and with dark red, it's a really striking gold combination too. and gold. Yeah, for sure. Okay, am I missing things here? I'm not. I'm actually well behind you at this point. Well, no, I think we're working on different things oh, now. We're it on seems a... like we have diverged from um, in our building here. So, are we hearing that this? Monkey Kid um, container ship is not bilaterally symmetrical. Whoa! Okay, so I'm going to make three of these, which of course I just breezed past right, when, that number I, three. when I saw <laughs> Put this here. No, wait a minute now. It does say three at the very beginning. I never see it at the beginning. Oh well. Well, I can't blame them. <laughs> so, they, they put it there. I just didn't see it. So now I'm going to build sort of like Mrs. two at a Moses, time. Mrs. you're playing the long song. So this is is um <laughs> this is the um <laughs> oh my god uh see so we come back around <laughs> yeah so i'm trying to find uh we're gonna make three of these pieces that i'm working on right now and i want to show you maybe we will oh go my. to the close-up cam for this because i think this is kind of an interesting build um I don't see Check it out. picture of what we're building. So I've got this... Um, oh, I've got this up, Kim. Uh, yeah, I've got this piece here, and it's got two bottom pieces from the from a rocker hinge. Yay, right? but the, one of the most important parts of my little light fixture is those rocker hinges. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, uh, bye, Moto. Thanks, and Quarantine bye, Creations. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. I'm sure everybody in the chat will give you a warm welcome, because they always do. Uh, we have an awesome family here on the stream. Friendly around here. It right? is very friendly. So I'm going to build these side by side so it doesn't take forever. But I want to show you a little bit how this was put together because once I put it together, I realized it was, you know, how cool it was. So, so now we're using. Your same, you're still on your same bag, right? Uh, no, I've moved on to the oh, next one. Got it. So here is, um, it's got these little ledge pieces which we love to use for. Um, for detailing on buildings, I mean they're they're kind of the thing to use. Um, those ledges, well, it's yeah. one, it's one of those finer than a stud details, right? Right. What I'm always looking for. So now I'm adding in the top the top parts of the rocker hinges. Oh nope, I'm not. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> I'm actually adding this tile. That's. That is what I was missing. So I'm putting this tile here. Then the little rocker hinge can go on. And of course, it. the nice part about this is it holds it 
it holds this hinge at an angle. Like it's not going anywhere, but you're gonna get that really, really great angle on it, right? Let me see that. All right, that's cool, that's, a, that's subtle. Right, is that what, about a two millimeter? And then we're gonna put a adjustment there. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm in such work mode with, with talking with contractors on it. That's a two millimeter deviation there. Sure, honey. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> we can't have these. Wait, so what's Christopher Coster, what's going on? Um, oh, you missed it. What did we miss? Um, uh, uh, cool, thanks for doing that. I don't know what you did, but thank you for doing that. Reached out. Oh, he knows Tiago, and you reached out to him? That's awesome. Oh, are you serious? <coughs> That's amazing. Wow, well, well, we thank you. We would That's, love to talk with him. That would be so, so cool. Oh, yes. You, no, you're right, Shane. If you have not seen Moto's wolf head on his... Um, and Kara, if you wouldn't mind putting the link to Moto's Instagram, he put his finished wolf head up, and I gotta tell you, it is phenomenal. Yeah, it's on a it's on a clean gray background. He has like weeks and weeks ago, he he added subtle modeling to the ears. Mm -hmm. He just added um, great detail to the inside of the mouth, the including mouth is incredible. like anatomically correct teeth and molars. And got it. He's really that. There's a lot going on with Moto. Okay, so now that because it's holding this at this perfect at this perfect little angle, and now we've got a couple of steps to add these curved pieces on. So now we have look at these awesome slope curve slope that you wouldn't get, and you get an angle oh, that you wouldn't because, normally get because of the ledge being stepped down there. Yes, right where a plate sticking all the way out wouldn't have done that. Exactly. That's so, some clever. See, that's like so. Now this part is coming back that Smart I was working on before hat. here. And how is this going on? Oh, Where am I even oh I see. Check it out. So what we, what I ended with, and I didn't put these pieces on yet, are these. Um, you might have seen them in the brick heads. They're a really, it's a really great snot piece. But we're going to put one of those on each end here. I want to um, remind anyone who hasn't seen these in a while that the studs on this snot piece, even though they're right next to one another, are in system, which is yep. different than normal snot pieces where you have to have bricks or plates in between. That's true. All right. Whoa, I'm getting uh, Quarantine ahead Creation here. says, do any of you work at Play Well? Yes, I do. Um, or at least I will. You do <laughs> for a little while. For a little while um, longer. Yeah. So, um, all right. So, because we put these snot pieces on, I'm going to be here. Oops, sorry. All right, we got that little angle. I'm now going to be able to put these. So, it's basically sideways built like this all the way down. I think this is so cool. I really wish I I, I want to oh, build nice. more with the style. So well, check it out. They go really all here. Clever, clever Lego math. And then look at that. What a beautiful, beautiful shape. And then my guess is I'm going to have the same thing on my side. Right? So nice. What is this? Two of these. All right. Do, 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 do. Should we go back to wide camera again? Oh, sure, we can do that. Uh, did I do it right? Yes. Okay. Na -na -na -na. <laughs> a little progress here. Okay, I'm Monkey setting kid aside has now. Uh -oh. moved halfway. Oh, do I have a bad connection? Just yeah. The uh -oh. little plate wasn't fully oh. engaged. So we have a new light for the studio. Which oh, is a I'm very excited very, about that. It's a variable white LED bright light in a pretty like we put it inside a pretty lamp, um, but it's got four smart. LED bulbs that we can make warm for dining room time. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> this will be used for dining or room. Or mellow evening time. Um, <laughs> and um, make it bright, crispy um, for studio as well. Yeah, so that would be nice. So I think the build table is going to have more light. That would be nice. Right? Better gosh. depth of field, all of that stuff. I don't realize until it's over, like I've been squinting the whole time. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wait, All right. this goes like this. All right, so I'm putting on this. 
Oh, oh wait, I'm sorry, I need to rotate this a little. I don't want to be in your way. I seem to be. Let Look at see. that. A blue pin making lots of nice friction there. Oh, right. And now I'm going to add this. All right, so here you can see the here's the edge of the boat, and I'm starting to add this, like, snot brackets here, right? Um, technic question, is the long blue pin and the large black pin interchangeable? Um, are you uh, talking about the ones that go through three things? Let's um, see. I'm pretty sure that one is um, friction and the other is uh, not, which is usually how those things work. I think the tin and gray are non-friction. Um, but in black... Do we have, we have here. Are you talking, is that the pin you're talking is that about? The, the three one? long one? This is a triple pin, but in black I only see this one that has an axle, sorry it's out of focus there, but axle on the end, too long, and a pin here. Yeah, I think he says he's talking about the three. The three? Oh, so there's, no. there's tan in blue. Yeah, and the tans, the tans will put in a, hole here. Oops. There. Sorry, that was awkward. And that's <laughs> friction-free or relatively friction-free. And then the blue one in here is going to go in, and that's definitely friction-full, the way I would expect from black. Right. But I haven't seen a triple pin in black. Yeah. There's, there's also these other ones, like that red one from earlier, that you can just, you know, push in afterwards. Yeah. They are also in gray and black. Ah, okay, the colors relate to the friction. Well, there you go. I haven't seen, we don't have any of those. That's well, so funny. So here's a question for you all, and I'll look into this too. Is there a different degree of friction between the no. frictionless pins? I don't think so. They're just frictionless, right? Yeah. And then once you get to like black and blue, that's as much friction as you get. Okay, well, I'm building more of this. What you're building? I'm just blabbing. Blab, 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 blab. Well, it is a building chat, right? I'm adding another little decoration. And it looks what like now I'm going to get, this is going to get a little complicated. Sort of the same thing going on here. I got it. This piece always baffles me a little bit. I mean, it looks like a revolver from like a, an old Western revolver. But aside from that, well, they've used it as a stud shooter before. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. And then it's got this other piece that installs inside of it. Shane said that his internet went out and he's hoping he didn't miss anything super funny. You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. Did, it, did your internet go out for four months? <laughs> <laughs> there might have been something funny in there. Oh, my goodness. All right. Oh, my goodness. I really am... My, our internet is a lifeline with all this staying home, right? It's, it's our... We're connected to the world via little teeny wires. Oh, the internet. All right. Um, what, did I wow, is that it? I oh, thought this was going to get all complicated. It was literally like four pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want well, I, Oh, Jeremy. I didn't want to cause any friction, so I put all my Technic pins in the same bin. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did not miss a good pun opportunity, although ha one's happening right now, so there you go. Yeah, see, that's the thing. If you ever miss anything, there's going to be more shenanigans coming up. Oh yeah, there was a there was a red a new I think a red pin, um, Christopher saying in the haunted house model. You know what's so funny is I've done oh, we put together so man. many models that you know right. Very cool. All right. Oh, so we're almost making this is like an oh end. chief rent a geek. Hey, welcome. I haven't seen you before. You love the sort bins. Oh, thanks. Yeah, these are. Um, these were a gift to um, to Ms. Thing for um, <laughs> from one of our viewers, and they really help. But they're great for the little bags that are sort of like inside the other bags. So yeah, welcome. Ms. Lots Thing of new people says, here today. This is so cool. So oh, Mr. Elmo Man's here. Hey, how's it going? Ms. Thing says thanks for all the bins. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She says very seriously as she's thinking about her impending visit. 
Oh, wow, boy. we're building. We're really, really building this up. I know. I know. <laughs> we might even say it's going to be overblown. Oh, um, I like that. Look at that. See, they say click, and then they. I love that. And they make a comic out of it and show it in like seven languages uh yeah oh yeah that's true um chief friend of geek if you are new and you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and if you know somebody who might like it have them subscribe because we're doing a 2k follower giveaway if when we reach 2,000 followers we are giving away a copy of the monkey kid monkey king warrior mech to one of our lucky subscribers. That'll be fun. So Look, this is going to be a fun giveaway. Look, see how much, see how much good knowledge there is here um, happening on the Tricky Bricks build and chat. You said K, which is for a thousand, which is metric. Look at that. Wait, wait, wait what? the metric system. What's there. going? You said two K followers. It's just because it was easier. I don't know. I didn't. <laughs> I all of my work. Is <laughs> it was faster? And that's how they display it on the page. Yeah, all of my, I don't know all of my happening. work, all of the drawings I do, all of the measurements for hanging things overhead that I do are in um, in inches and feet and all that. But for some reason, when I deal with Lego, I think that's a centimeter long, right? Is that one by two? That's about a centimeter long, isn't it? Maybe a little longer. Mm. All right. So uh, let me see. Here is these. All right. Oh, this is These a little. It's got little chains. This is a fun little um, thing here. So we put that click click thing in there that had an um, axle hole. Then we put uh. an axle in it here, and this tan beveled gear, and that turns around. A uh, nice, nice. Uh, two studs is about 1.5 centimeters, says Brickworm. Very good. Two studs. Oh, 1.5. Yeah, so longer. Centimeter. I always think, I had always heard that a centimeter was the width of my pinky finger. Well, oh, everybody's got different size pinkies. I have to get a ruler out. Um, well, I mean, it, I guess it would have been the king's pinky, wouldn't it? Jeez. <laughs> or the king's I don't foot, want to know right? anything about the king's the, the pinky. King's All foot. right. So, we built the. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Moving okay. swiftly. Along. Okay, and then I'll move back to this yes, little. Yes, that's fine. Assembly. So <laughs> I built up all of these um, <laughs> snot brackets here, and now it's going to get this little finishing piece. And I got to say, actually, I really love the dark green and this blue color together. They're really. Where, it's really a nice plan? combination. Wait, bring that back again? Um. Bring that back on camera. Wait, hang on. Uh oh, what's happening? Are we not in system? No. No, we are. It's fine. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, it was really close. It's a drama. It is. 14 cameras zoom in. Producers everywhere. So what was, I was saying, I really like the combination of oh. these things and together. See, right there, pointing with her pinky, Ms. Thing says, right there, that combination. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so that goes on here, and it creates a nice little stripe here. Okay. And then on a more technical <laughs> side of things, this axle coming through here with this beveled gear is going to get, um, these are always so handy, a Technic plate with hole. Uh, You're going to put another beveled gear on that. Put it through the... Oh, I did it upside down. Look at that. I'm demonstrating so much I did it wrong. What's okay. going on? So there, and then it goes through the plate. So the teeth are facing down. And then it's going to go right on there. Did I do it right? Well, and also Look at that. Very nice. Now, I'm going to suppose that they'll reinforce this connection, because the force of those two gears meeting is going to want to push that apart. We'll see what they do. Well, this is fun. So, oh, that looks great, just like a real... Yeah, know, so I'm large. adding these... The chains are actually here to hold these tires on. Um, oh, I'm coming up on the end of this bag. So check it out. It's there to help hold these little these little tires onto the side of the boat, right? So cool. <laughs> I love stuff like that. It makes me really happy. So that's reminding me, oddly enough, of an episode of the Brady Bunch. Oh dear. Yes. So here we go. Um, I hope somebody's ready. <laughs> okay, Brady Bunch. Why, yeah. Why Which episode? I... Okay, Dad Brady, Mike. 
Mike Brady. So Mike's boss, Mr. His name I can't remember, um, has a boat. And he wants oh, to invite. That's right. He wants to invite the entire Brady bunch onto his boat. The entire which is Brady great. bunch. But for some reason, when Carol, Mrs. Brady, picks up the phone, she thinks that it's not actually her husband's boss. Right. It's because she. It's the one where she has the sore. Th- she has the sore throat. Oh, her she's not Cindy, supposed to talk. She's not, her and Cindy have something wrong with their tonsils, and they're not supposed to talk. And she thinks it's Mike <laughs> trying to catch her answering the phone because he already called once pretending to be her friend Ellie. Oh, that's remember? right. I can't believe you remember this. <laughs> well, we did just, we saw it within the last that's six exactly. months. Exactly. Right? We did see it. Okay, so then what does Carol do? Which which this, oh, what she this pretends, barge made she me think pretend, of. Yeah, the bar, she calls it like a Broken, barnacle, broken down said, barnacle barge. I wouldn't go on your broken down barnacle barge if blah blah blah. Which she says while she's whispering. Yeah, she's, I would go. <laughs> broken down. Barnacle oh my goodness. Barge. And then of course she finds out, and much hijinks ensue. And wouldn't you know? Well, he's not mad. That was a long road. Yeah. <laughs> that was all. You know what? That whole rabbit hole came from this tire mounted to the side of this barge right there. <laughs> It's not really even a barge, it's that more of a container a long, ship. It was a long road. Well, welcome, <laughs> welcome to my brain. Someone <laughs> add Carol Brady answered the phone to our list of discussed topics. Yes, because I bet you I can find the clip of it. <laughs> of course we can find that broken down barnacle barge. Oh and my Marcia goodness. thought it was so funny until Carol got in trouble. You mean Cindy. Oh, it was Cindy, yes. it wasn't Marcia. No. Marsha doesn't have time for that sort of thing. Marsha doesn't uh, have time for What? <laughs> okay, well, we it's I'm sorry everyone. Okay. Are we actually this am I moving out on? of control? Should I move on to bag seven? Where are we at here? Or do you want me to help you with yours? No, you should keep building. Going on bag seven. Look, well wait, you've there's like a whole bunch of pieces here you haven't even put on. Well those yet. must have been skipped. I think these exactly. Are, look, no, these are extra. I just there's one piece I missed. Um, oh, Aubrey Kovacs is here, and Blair. Hey, Blair. We were hey, just Blair. talking about you earlier. Awesome. Um, oh ears my goodness. Must have been burning. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Rick All right. Alert. Oh, look at that. Zonker Harris has news. Uh, Bricklink alert. Long due orders are starting to trickle in. Order from the Netherlands arrived Saturday. Oh, and an order from Singapore is still arriving, still waiting for Czech Republic. Wow. That's uh, very cool. Uh, I want, I, I need to do more Bricklink ordering. I haven't bought anything on a, on a Bricklink in, in quite some time. On a Bricklink. Okay, Gramps. I haven't bought anything on a Bricklink for a very long time. Yeah, you used your AOL account to do it. <laughs> I did use my AOL account. <laughs> my Earthlink account. Okay, and I don't mean this, and I, I apologize if anybody has this in the chat. I really apologize because maybe someone does and I'm, I really don't mean this as an insult, but I'm sorry. Every time I see somebody has an AOL account, I don't know why it just makes me laugh. Because um, I just think about those. Um, first of all, golly, they must have had that email forever. Yeah. And that's probably why well, they wanted to loyalty. keep it, right? That's Which brand loyalty. That is some yeah. brand loyalty right there. My mom had AOL. I mean, in... Mm-hmm. You all right there? Sorry, yeah. Yeah, my mom had AOL in, like, she was an early adopter of the web, so I know <gasps> in 2003 she was doing email there. Um, oh, JMW says he just watched the Brady Bunch clip on YouTube, and when the guy answers the phone, he says, Ahoy! <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> See, it all comes back around! It all comes back around! <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> That's so good. Thank you very much for looking that up. Oh my Look at goodness! That. So how we all help each other out here. And uh, I will enjoy. I will enjoy posting that on the website. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, are we on to a new? Oh, did so I, I did a crazy thing that I want to show everyone. Goodness. So we were talking about the. Um, oh, new bag. Here we go. We were talking about these pieces, and I want to show you this crazy contraption that I just made. So this black piece has two 
Axle to pins in here. And this one is, th and then it's connected to here with this little piece. And this has got pins sticking up. And then one, so the one curved piece goes here. And the other curved piece goes here. Right? So now, right? There we go. Your husband, he chatted over MSN Messenger. Nice. That's awesome. I still have an AOL email account circa 2001. John Latrell. Dang, that is an that is an old email address. That's when people were just like, well, no, I guess the 90s. Were no, when were people caring about email all of a sudden? I don't remember. What? I didn't have, I know I didn't have email in college. I probably didn't have it until 1990. I probably got my first email address in 1990. Wow. All right. Sirius.com. Oh, yes. Sirius says S-I-R-I-U-S. The dog star. So I've got, um, so I've made this crazy contraption. I've put this thing in here, linking these together. And you can see that there's a pin to stud in there, that that's why this hole is able to accept, um, accept this, right? And then... Oh wait, isn't um JMW Music was your is your thing on Tuesdays? I thought it was Wednesdays. Am I oh man. I hope I didn't screw that up. I thought for what has I to... thought it was on I thought that your Enchain thing was on Wednesdays. Oh, did you make an announcement? Yeah, he's saying he was gonna start saying ahoy at the top of the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this week was your first Tuesday. Oh no, you guys, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Oh man. All right, I apologize. Anyway, um, so you're doing it on Tuesdays now. Good. I will pay. I will. I will absolutely. I'm gonna have to mark that down now. I was like, all I was gonna come on tonight, and I'm glad I didn't. I would have been like, oh, um, absolutely. Well, that's so great. I'm glad you guys are doing Tuesdays now. And if you haven't checked out uh, those guys' show, Shane and JMW Music show on their Instagram Live, it's super oh, it's fun. fun. Um, Shane says, Flynn, you and I are going to work on a MySpace site for Tricky Bricks next. Yes, <laughs> please. I'm, I feel like we need that. We're not reaching our full audience potential. Well, I uh, mean, not being, <laughs> you know, when you do an Alta Vista search, we don't even come up. Alta Vista. Okay. Alta Vista Lycos. Yeah, I was really more an Ask Jeeves kind of guy. <laughs> Yeah, that always rubbed me. That felt a little classist to me. <laughs> Listen, he's your own personal, personal butler that finds butler. you stuff. But not very much stuff. I know. Well, now it's just <laughs> called Google, I guess. Or yeah. Bing or whatever thing you happen to be yeah. using now. Well, we, we talked. Oh, look at this. I connected it too soon. Am I, what am I usual. doing here? As per usual. Okay, here what is this. Okay, so here? check this out, everybody. This will be a good... So I attached that piece I was showing you about here. Oh, I see. Oops. Here. And now this swings around. And these little robot arms that I put here attach to this little bar here. This is a really cool technique. Oh, that is, again, that is some tight-fitting Lego. Yeah, it's... Right? And, of course, they're doing it that. without stressing the parts. It just fits. And, of course, there's a little bit of a gap, it but, I mean... It just fits perfectly. What the heck? It's well, great. Well, we all... All the time, we suspend our disbelief with Lego, right? That doesn't look like a tree. It looks like a truncated cone. But it's a tree <laughs> in a wonderful landscape, right? It's... It's a wonderful tree. Right. I think we can look past some little gaps, especially with all that super fine-fitting side there. Yeah, it's a really it's a really nice connection. I'm super, super excited about that. Wow, I feel like I learned a new thing today, which I always like. Okay, so it looks like I'm adding some oh, tiles. Oh, a lot of these things. What's going on And actually, here? I've put this together. I've... I've gone flying forward, and I'm doing, and I've gone off the rails are you, here. What, are, are you experiencing blowback? No. <laughs> Lego blowback? No, I think I'm, I think I'm all right. All right, connected together, and... Oh, look, I'm doing the thing you were just doing. That is the one side done. I'm going to, uh, or at least up to the point that we're at, one side done. we got about 15 minutes left. 
All right. Wait, where so, is that? So, that's there. Check it out. There is the side of the boat with the tires and everything. Oh, I'm up. sure you already pointed. That's the right. dot matrix. We've entered the dot matrix. <laughs> <laughs> I had be right back making a clippy emoji. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Clippy, he's so not helpful. What was it we saw with Clippy in it the other... There was something that we saw Clippy in... There was a joke about Clippy the other night, and I. it was always makes me laugh. So anything about Clippy is you, hilarious. You know, back when I was in art school, um, and I was learning about Dada and Tristan Zara and, oh boy. and Max Ernst and all them, I got very arty, very arty, and I made sound poetry for the dot matrix printer. Right? I Ooh. just basically would type syllables that were of a certain length and make the dot matrix printer read out sound poetry. Ooh! Ooh, look, guys, it's Pigsy. Ooh, and we've got some pink pieces in here. I'm very, very <laughs> clippy. I see you are trying to attach a Lego sticker. <laughs> Should it be a brick separator, though? Should we separate -y? And it's Separate. got big, like, big, it's big got googly eyes. eyes. Why not? Well, where do we have googly eyes? We could make separate right now. <laughs> not without some glue, I don't think, but... Hmm. Oh, no, they could go no, on the top part. it's got the part. two studs. Yeah, well, there you go. All right, there. <laughs> separate the further adventures yes, of separate Yes, a new character for the show, separate Oh, Clicky. That's even better. <laughs> it's Clicky. Yes, thank you, Brickworm. Can we use that? I think, um, I think Clicky, it needs to be a thing. <laughs> Wait, where's our eyes? Wait, is Clicky green, or shouldn't he be orange if we're going to really go for it? I don't know. I Maybe. think you put the printed tiles over there, dear. What, so Clicky is an Oompa Loompa? <laughs> no, but orange, Whoa. I mean, come on, orange is, is kind of the traditional it's color, true. right? You want the, now, what happened to our, did you take all the printed tiles? No, you did, I, right? I was saying you put them over there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, orange is classic. I think it does. I think Clicky needs to be orange. Oh my god. I remember one very stressful moment on Lego Masters. It was during the movie challenge, and we had made the, the fairies that were fighting one another. Oh, yeah. And they didn't have their eyes. And I went over to the brick pit, and the printed tiles, there were so many printed tiles that finding the right eyes just, I felt like the clock was, uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> clicky is annoyed. Uh-oh. You tried to do it. Clicky says, don't make an illegal move. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? Where's Clicky? I don't know. You need the orange one, though. Everybody agrees that it must be orange. Okay, I have... Look, I have them right And We have about a thousand orange ones. Yeah, have you ever noticed how brick separators come in waves? Yes, you see, they like, do. like, 20 of them on the table, and then you look around, and there's none. <laughs> so Clicky... <laughs> says Clicky says don't make illegal <laughs> connections <laughs> makes him very queasy <laughs> so Clicky's gonna help us look he can help I'm us build I'm 100% about Clicky <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Art, Alyssa. You were absolutely right. This is like <laughs> capital A art in italics. Oh, chancery. Wait, what? I chancery? may have to. I may have to take. Um, I may have to take some photos of Clicky and make some and little animate him. Some little like pop up video. He could be like. There you go, pop-up video. Although I think that was 2000s. I don't remember. So anyway, check it out, everybody. Everyone in the chat now, we were all here on the day Clicky was born. <laughs> totally. It was Fabby Van MKE says, my girlfriend just said Clicky is her spirit animal. <laughs> Yeah, and we have. I think we need to like photograph Clicky with many different eyes so that he can be like different ones. Well, <laughs> if we get the right piece, he could have a kooky mouth. Too. Josh roasted. Hey, Josh roasted. Welcome. Um, 
It looks like uh, <laughs> he needs the same animations as the old MS Office paperclip. I'll see if I can do that. What, like he just, like, clicky. It looks like you're using snot bricks. Might I suggest two bricks and a plate? <laughs> <laughs> So wouldn't he always, he would make like a stupid sound and then he would show up there. Clicky suggests, <laughs> might I suggest, two bricks and a plate. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. And then we I have think gone I... over the bridge, as my friend Tina would say. All right, let's get back. Oh, man. Thank you, Clicky. That was a close one. I'm, I'm surprised we brought that back. So check out Pigsy here. He's got angry eyes. He's even got the little, like, the wrinkle between this. Um, and then uh, he's got a, a cool vest, sort of like clip-on vest thing. Oh, look, he's got the back printing on this is awesome. It's like a pig with a fork. And we've already talked before about the weird, like, piggy cannibalism. Yes, everybody, I know, all of the, <laughs> like, all the chat just, like, went down to ten people because everyone left <laughs> to go meet Clicky. <laughs> Clicky can have so many adventures. Um, yeah, and I also wanted to point... Oh, yeah, Drew, that's so funny. I was just about to say that. Um, yeah, he's got the cool punk rock vest, and then he's got the... the I newish um the short legs that actually move, like from the Harry Potter CMS. That's where I believe they premiered those. Um, and that is... Uh, he's got, like, yeah, little cargo pants. And he's got lots of pouches on the back of his... Where's Grandpa's glasses? Oh, I need to see. I'm at that point now where, they, where I miss that you're supposed to make three of these or two of them or something. Yeah, so he's got little pouches on the back, and one of them has a fork sticking out of it. And then there's a picture of him. Um, yeah, so Pigsy is awesome. Oh, and Pigsy also gets... Now, I don't know... Has this part ever come in this color before? Ooh, look at that. Mmm, yes. That's uh, uh, positively infernal. Yes, that is, um, that's a pretty great piece, I gotta say. That's gonna come into some things. <laughs> a red pitchfork. Um, yeah, and if anybody knows, has this been in this before? Um, Oh, Hooded One says Pigsy is different in the food truck. Oh, well, that's good. So we get a couple different Pigsies, right? Yes, at Brickanisa, a clicky challenge. Well, we will... <laughs> Yay, I love that idea. <laughs> is it clicky with a Y or an I-E? I think a Y. I think a Y. I think a Y. Because very... He's not... Because uh, 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 Clippy uh, was, a, was a Y, yeah. right? So <laughs> Clippy doesn't put on airs. Yes, Pigsy is still selling pork, though questionable. Yes, exactly. I'm not quite sure what's happening there. But, you know, that is, it, well, the funny thing about that, though, is there a tra there, that's a tradition in, um, in, like, barbecue restaurants where they do, you know, they put the different... Um, Oh my goodness, oh. I lost my train of thought. Oh, where they have like, um, you can, I read a thing once where they said you can tell how good a barbecue place is going to be depending on like what the graphic is um, and whether, you know, whether it has a pig on it or not and oh, whether yeah. if the pig is wearing a chef hat, then it's like another level up. And if the pig is eating pork, then it's like a whole other thing. I <laughs> <laughs> like, can't remember where I read that, but it was hilarious. Oh, and so of course, by the way, this is a hot dog gun. I just want to point out that this is a hot really? dog gun. Yes. So it's going to get a... It's like a... It, it almost seems like it's chopping up... Yes, it's chopping up hot dogs and then shooting pieces of it out. Check it out. So you get a hot dog in the back of here. <laughs> shoots. The stud shooter shoots out, like, a, allegedly, like, pieces of the hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the the the, um, the red pitchfork is in. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh my oh, goodness. Oh, it's only on. Am I supposed to have? Yes, I am supposed to have four of these. You need to make a clicky for tonight's stream. You do, clicky. I'm so glad that clicky was born here. That makes me so happy. Clicky is now a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're a pig who eats his own kind. <laughs> Can I suggest a vegetarian burger? <laughs> a tofu dog? It's dead. Oh, that was terrible. All right. Perhaps a Moving carrot. on. Oh, my goodness. Perhaps this Lego <laughs> carrot is dead. <laughs> Wow, we have gone. Yeah, that is. A That's long so road. funny. Like, no matter what your problem in life, Clicky comes up with a Lego solution to it. 
<laughs> yes, Clicky will be on the website. Um, mock pork is even weirder. Yeah, it is. It's okay. You know what? I feel about all those like. It, it tastes just like meat, and it tastes just like chicken. It's like, well, if you want it to be... <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Never mind. Meat-flavored stuff. <laughs> Johnny, he ain't dinner. He's my brother. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, this is going around here. Oh, my goodness. All right. And then we go into a macaroni. We You've are... probably already done this, right? And then we've go, we go on to a macaroni. No, this is... Your side is different. Well, who knew that macaronis take axles rather than pins? You can put an axle in there. I did. You knew that? I did. Oh. Uh, prob that probably means that your class knew that as well. It, um, no. We don't... Those are a little... Those pieces are a little... I don't want to say advanced, but they're a little more specialty than what um, I'm able to do because you know I'm teaching these classes and it's all for kids at their homes and so we're using whatever bricks they have and since everybody doesn't have the same bricks you know see I know this was pretty far away here um, but inside this pin connector here this <gasps> this pin connector I've put a pin yeah. to stud and once again they're taking advantage of the hole in the pin to stud to put a bar which in this case is a three leaf clover okay so this is one of my new favorite pieces lately and I just saw now that it is available in dark pink and I am so excited check it out oh yay it is the new rounded one by two plate with hole, the, the holes in the studs. These are such great pieces. And now I know it comes in dark pink and I'm very excited. Well, the, the thing I like best about that is you can put two of them next to one another. Mm -hmm. You can put two of them next to one another and they'll still rotate because the corners don't get in the way. <laughs> Shane LeVan, teal clicky is the one that says you can do whatever <laughs> illegal moves you want. <laughs> And Green Clicky is jealous of your bricks. Bricky's Club. Um, let me see. Oh, what did you say, Bricky's Club? Teal Clicky is one that says you can do it. Oh, no, I already read that. Oh, New Unicorn Nose. Ah, you know what? That's not a bad idea. That's a good idea. I like that, but I'm, I'm reluctant to steal it from here, but now I want to go buy some. Oh, Bricks and Pieces is your friend. I am... Whoa, things are about to get... I think I must have skipped a step because things got really complicated real quick. Don't let Clicky hear you say that. Sorry, Clicky. Oh God, it's going to sneak in the middle of the night and murder us in our beds. Here, he's going to do a headstand. Oh, my goodness. There you go. Clicky's doing yoga. <laughs> Wow, you know, I it's called that's called downward facing stud. <laughs> it's Lego yoga. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, well. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry in advance for all of the terrible <laughs> no, I think jokes people that are I'm enjoying it. I think people are enjoying it. Throughout the coming summer, fall, and winter, there's going to be You're a already lot apologizing of in advance. terrible, terrible puns. <laughs> Who knows where we're going to be by Halloween. This is going to be a pretty absurd place to hang out. I, got, I, I don't doubt it. Not like now. Oh, I see. So I'm not actually building part of the boat right now. I am building Pigsy's like, little flying uh -oh. pork whatever it is. Oh, it's already on there. Ha, ha, ha. All right. Not, well, oh, here we go. Where's my glasses? They're on my head. <laughs> the call is coming from inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> it's clicking. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Stop! Wow, he's so, so he's gone from being like. <laughs> Clicky is not sinister. There's nothing sinister about Clicky. Orange Brick says I made a Clicky and I love him. You know this could be a, it's the new thing. It's kind of like the um, you know, like a pet rock or something like that, right? It's going to be the new thing that will be it will be sweeping the nation in no time. Oh my oh, goodness. I see what's going on here. Oh, Is look at crack? that. Okay, sorry, Clicky. 
I mean, you really ruined his concentration. It's gonna take him hours to get back where to where he was. There we go. And then this goes down on that. And we get that perfect curve here also. You can see our ceiling. Wow, we got serious all of a sudden. And then <laughs> we're done now. It's done. So so the DM in our D D game um, wanted to make the um, the roleplay more immersive. So she suggested that I um, start speaking in the first person as my character, which is great. But she said, and remind uh, reminding you he is an elf fighter with like a bow and a hood and all this stuff. Yes, right? reminding you of that. Reminding you of that because it, uh, it's related to Lego in no way whatsoever. Um, <laughs> so she said, what is his voice like? And being an improviser from long ago theater classes, I was like, he sounds like who? You tell me. No, what's his name? I just lost it a second. No, no. Suave Chet voice. Baker. Chet Baker, thank you. So you just thought of that. It didn't have anything to do with that we had listened to Chet Baker like that was the partly. same day. I, I had put <laughs> Chet Baker on and he is so smooth that I was like, this character is smooth. But then I tried to start speaking in a smooth voice. I can't do it. Nope. No, it's, well, just, it's just ridiculous. I have to say, it didn't help that everyone was being silly about it. Yes. So, so I and I apologize for my part in that. That's all right. Really, like, I... <laughs> you can imagine that he's smooth. <gasps> oh, my good. How does Clicky move around? Does he fly like Richard? Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> I, would, I would think. <laughs> right? You kind of... <gasps> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think there's going to be a clicky graphic or 12. Clicky looks like me? Wow. I didn't know I was that orange. Is it a thing? Okay. No. Mm. <laughs> thank your, you. Your nose doesn't look like an axle, Flynn. Well, well thank goodness for that, because <laughs> there could be some real trouble. All right, so check it out. I've made Pigsy's little I guess I'm flying hungry. doohickey here, and I want to show you... I just said doohickey because I am a grandpa. A flying doohickey. Check it out. Glass these were... little, these little one by one square plates, right there, and there. The, they look like little eyes, right? They're really, really cool. Axel nose. <laughs> it's like that's that's Clicky's rock and roll cousin. Axel nose. Axel nose. nose. <laughs> Oh, and please do if you do make a cl if you do make a clippy or clicky and post it up on IG, please be sure and tag Tricky Lug in that because I want to see everyone's tricky uh, their, and Tricky Bricks because I want to see everybody's different um, clickies. And don't worry, Clicky will be making further appearances on um, on the Build and Chat. I think I, um, I think I did an. Oh, this is I'm so happy I'm here right now. Me too because you probably wouldn't understand what the heck was going on. <laughs> if you didn't. So that band you were talking about is actually a punk band. Oh, no. And it's called Axel Nose and the Snots. Oh, wow. Axel Nose and the Snots. Yeah, well, I think we heard it the first time. Yeah, but if you say it again, <laughs> if you say it again, it's better. This is a historic day. It's true. All right, so yeah, there's there's Pigsy's little... <laughs> this is if you're out of control. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Clicky does need his own hashtag. Tricky Clicky. Now, did you write Clicky like down on the list? Because he's definitely someone to return to. Oh, uh, well, he'll be, don't worry. It's he's going to be a, a long thing. list. Okay, so I'm assembling. <laughs> it is, and I haven't even written half of it down. Yes, Tricky Clicky is. Per oh, that's so funny. That's what I just said, Mini Fig Chick. That's awesome. Ha hashtag Tricky Clicky. Yes. I'm sorry, but we have no. gone. I'm sure that anybody who is new here must be wondering what the heck is wrong with these people. Will you help me with something here? I think this is a matter of perspective in this mm -hmm. drawing. We're supposed to be two... St this piece here... Here, I can show it on camera. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be two... St it's supposed to cover this. Yes. Right? Yeah. Like that. But then there's a space before these two guys. Is that just yeah, perspective? It just gets, yeah, it's just the perspective. Okay. Yep. That happens sometimes. It covers up. Yeah, it hides us, anyway. dud. Um, I like Blair's clicky lug is pretty great, too. <laughs> it's 
is oh, oh, this is or what is so right with these people i hope so i hope that's what people think <laughs> when they come here that would be awesome uh oh my goodness too funny too funny clicky is now a thing I... <laughs> You know, every time I think that we can't get more ridiculous. Oh my goodness, my brain is still mulling over black and white Mario television, and we're like 36 memes down the road now. Oh, we're, like, we're an hour and a half <laughs> in, and we're still you're still back there. Okay. Oh, that's what we go. Okay. I'm adding some pieces. Well, again, here. like window. I don't know about you, but it takes me a while from the first moment I think. Oops. It takes me a moment from the first time I squirrel <laughs> think about a mock um, to when it actually turns into something in bricks. So yeah, I'll be mulling that television idea for a while. Uh, I really love that idea. Now, if we can only, well, we'll see. We'll see what the credit card looks like after the haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at this. We'll so I'm, a, I'm attaching this right next to this one. Look at yeah. that. You all have already posted your clickies. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I am all about it, y'all. This is too great. Uh, see, this is why I this is why I love Tricky Lug. You know, because y'all are just as ridiculous as we are. They say that <laughs> they say Euclid didn't discover geom or didn't invent geometry. He discovered it. Is right? that what they said? And Albert Einstein didn't invent relativity. He discovered it. Right. So I don't sure. think he invented Clicky. I think <laughs> we just discovered. revealed who he really <laughs> has been all this time, sitting on your build table, just waiting. Oh, Brickworm, the Lucy episode with the candy conveyor belt on that TV would be perfect. Yeah. That is the one that needs to happen. Unfortunately, it doesn't have Fred in it, but That's we okay. could live with that. That's okay. We could live with that. I know my mom would be very happy. My mom is the one who um, got me uh, sort of like my love of I Love Ooh. Lucy. We I'm... used to watch it all the time when I was a kid. Uh, my brother and my mom and I. I'm missing a plate. In reruns, right? of course. In reruns. As I like to say, <laughs> it was old when I was a kid. Yeah. Um, I don't have... What was that voice? Yeah, yeah. yeah. See? <laughs> <laughs> no? Um, I'm missing a large plate here for some reason. Um, which large plate? Wait, no, I'm not. No, you're not. It's, again, perspective. Oh, I see. I was supposed to do steps 201... Before, Before step 210? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm putting, I'm adding some panels on here and this little thing that's going to get us around the corner. Right. We need something to get us around the corner. So check Clicky it out. Clicky, save me. <laughs> <laughs> I see you've talked yourself into a corner. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, everybody. Well, well, I'm a little I think it is. I actually think it's about time we wrap things up for today. It's um we we are at oh, about time and I've got classes and you've got stuff and Yeah, we have to Whew. Yep. Oh my goodness. That was a fun ride, everyone. That was a fun ride. And I'm so, so glad you came along with us. Oh, Pink Wheels 3 is here. Hey, Meredith, how's it going? I didn't see you in there before. Um, yes, everybody go make your clickies and, um, you know, have them with you for every build and chat. I think that would be important. I think, I think I'm going to go put a blog post up onto the website that's just, like, clicky-centric. About clicky? He can be so helpful. This ride made my head hurt. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, sometimes we, we go, we sink to the bottom so fast that it makes, you know, it's like a head rush. Yeah, I get but it. you know what's down there? <laughs> you know what's down there at the bottom? Treasure. Clicky. <laughs> I would have liked to have finished the stream with a spit take. <laughs> <laughs> but we have to use this computer again. Yes. So I'm so glad you joined us. What yeah. fun. I'm in such a good mood. And I'm not going to be here to remind you tomorrow because tomorrow is the first day of our not doing Thursdays anymore. Don't forget, we are not here tomorrow. Not no more Thursdays. Thursdays. It's um, time out. But your 
uh, entries for the 10 contest are due tomorrow at 5 p.m. PST. Don't forget. Right. Um, you can either at five. You can either do the form, uh, the Google form, which is listed on the community tab, or you can email me at this is not working. <laughs> that was almost a perfect transition. I know. I was so close. One click I was away. so close. There we go. You can email me, Flynn, at trickybricks.com. Wait. Uh, um, Flynn. Hey, Yano, how's it going? Trickybricks.com. Oh, you tuned in at the beginning and had a job interview and just coming back to say bye. Well, you oh you need to go back and watch because if you don't know who Clicky is, you need to. It's going to be yep. very important. So, um, <laughs> so Pink Wheels Three wants to know what the challenge was. Oh, so the challenge this week is so Friday when we see you next is Richard and my uh, ten year anniversary. Ten years. Ten years. Imagine um, that. Look, I know. See. Superpowers activate. Right. So, uh, excuse me. Uh, so, people in the chat were suggesting that they wanted to do a challenge. It was like somehow related. So we decided to to add that ten like is the is the theme. So it's wide open. The number ten. Yep. That can be any number of things. Whatever ten means to you. If a ten is part of a word, a bigger word. Th um, that I saw that for sure. Bowling pins. Um, yeah. Oh, Bowling Mr. Hinkle balls. draws is here too. Hey, Kevin, how's it going? <laughs> Kevin, I don't know if you were here earlier, but there uh, we may need to contact you about doing some drawings of Clicky. Um, you were already um, evoked in the chat multiple times about Clicky and his Clicky, um, very um, his presence, very similar but not the same to Clippy from the nineties. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's the theme, 10. Uh, uh, you can do oh, whatever you Blair, want. Oh, Blair, thank you. Thank you, Blair. And it is um, 5 uh, It is five p.m. PST. 5 p.m., that's when I get off work. Yes. So, so we're going to um, say goodbye. Oh, wait. If uh, you want yes, to... thank you, Kevin. I think Clicky is, is pretty hilarious. And this is how we can start reviewing things. It gets, like, four out of what? five You get, like, like, two clicks up. <laughs> That one gets two clicks. <laughs> although, um, although we don't want to steal Thunderman's thunder there. No, well, you know, Thunderman and Clicky, you know, they may be friends. They I think they can be friends. Together. I, think I think so. Great. They're both on the side of good and Lego. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, if you want to send us um, fan mail or a postcard or, or just say hey in writing. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at you. Right? You um, can contact us at Flynn and Richard, P.O. Box 11517, Oakland, Oakland, California, 94611. So yeah, we're going um, to the post office in a day or two, right? Uh, yes, we'll be going, we don't go going outside out much lately. It's true. We'll be going out in a, in a day or two, to the, maybe even tomorrow since we have the day yep. off. Um, and yeah, uh, oh, Moto. Well, you know, Clicky, I think. Okay, I can't. All right. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know that I would make it through a Sunday broadcast. Oh, my goodness. If, if live action Clicky showed up. Oh, well, I, I think Clicky and, um, Clicky and Thunderman need to have some kind of joint adventure. I agree. I agree. It would definitely be a joint adventure. So here is the, um, by the way, I didn't show him. Uh, easier. I didn't show him before, but check it out. Sandy came with, I think, bag 11 or whatever. Pretty far back, actually, and I had already put him together, but I just wanted to make sure that Did we that. showed him off. Because this is He's like the favorite. Incredible Hulk as a ginger in my favorite color. Well, no, it, looks like, it looks like Drew with a mohawk it painted does. blue. Drew, I, we need some Sandy cosplay stat. All right? I know, with <laughs> with giant dark pink uh, or uh, magenta pop beads. Yes, and the and the shoes. Um, Tricky Bricks brand clicky adult size costume pre orders open. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Dude, that costume, that costume would go on pretty quickly. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, everybody. It has been, um, it has been an eventful stream. What for fun. one where we were just building, it's been an eventful stream. I didn't expect any of that. Um, yeah. And so, uh, yes, we do have a website we're working on right now. It's under construction, although it is live. So you'll kind of just like watching this show, you'll get to see the work in progress. All the work in progress on the. Uh, it's just one of those things. It takes a while, and I don't know. It was already up. So it's just mm -hmm. kind of one of those things. So, all right, everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. We will be back on Friday with the results of our 10 uh, contest, or challenge, sorry, not contest. And don't forget, a couple of things coming up. Our 100th episode is coming mm -hmm. up, and we are going to be doing some kind of giveaway uh, yep. for the 100th episode. And additionally, we are going to be doing a giveaway what we are doing a subscription drive. We're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers, and when we do, we will be giving away the this Monkey, Monkey King, King Warrior Mech. Right? Yes, the Monkey King Warrior Mech. Look at Very that. You good. can barely see around it. Mm -hmm. It's so big. Hi. This is a really fun model. Um, so, yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for so, joining us today. Look, you here's will. a big <coughs> Tricky Bricks hug for you all. All right? Big Get hugs to all of you. All this together. Um, so I just wanted to say thanks, everybody, for coming today. Uh, we will see you on Friday. So make sure that you um, stay safe, stay healthy, wash, wash your, your hands, hands, wear your mask, and we will see you Friday at 10 a.m. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.